Critical path analysis made simple. I've been looking on YouTube at how people teach critical path analysis. This is also known as network diagrams. And God, they make it complicated, don't they? Have a look at some of these. These are all people explaining how to find the critical path. Now, you do need to find the critical path because it's the longest route through your diagram and it's therefore going to be the quickest that you can do your project. You can't do your project quicker than the longest route, so you need to find it. But it doesn't have to be this complicated. In a minute, I'm going to show you a really simple way to do it. But the question is, why do people make it so complicated? And I think it might be because they want to look clever. But I think more likely, they just regurgitate the way that they were taught. And nobody's ever stopped and thought, this is ridiculous. No one's ever thought, no one's actually got time to do this in real life. Can't we find an easier way? And that's what suddenly struck me. It doesn't have to be this complicated. I think there's perhaps a third reason as well, by the way, which is that computers do it like this. So what they're doing in these really horrible, difficult videos is they're showing you how computers calculate the longest route. But human beings are different to computers. We can just see the answer with our eyes. So a much easier way to get the critical path is to do as follows. Write each task on a post-it note and stick them on a big bit of paper or even a whiteboard if you've got it, like this. Put the arrows on connecting the tasks and put the time on each task. How long do you think each task is going to take? And by the way, that's not the hours work, it's the elapsed time. So if it's a five hour job, you think it'll take a week, put a week. I usually like to use weeks. So you've got a diagram drawn out with the arrows and the times. How long is that going to take you? Maybe 20 minutes, uh, maybe quite fun to do that. And once you've got that, you don't have to do all the things that they have on those other videos. You don't have to do the forward pass and the backward pass and the float. All you do, you just look at the diagram and just look at the longest path. So on my diagram, can you see the longest path? See if you can spot it. And yeah, sure enough, there it is. So it's easy. The critical path is obvious to see. In real life, you don't need to add up every branch. You don't need to do all the complicated stuff shown on these other videos. Just do the post-its, stick them on a page, and look at the longest path. And that's what I teach on my training course as well. Because I think you'll find that most project management courses are like these videos on YouTube. They're just a complicated nightmare that no one's actually going to use in real life. So there we are. That's critical path analysis or network diagrams made simple. Please do subscribe to my video channel for more information like this. And if you want to learn all about project management, then do come on one of my courses.